everyone, I'm Reza. I'm here at Microsoft Ignite in Chicago with Re. Re Merritt, yeah, hi. Ree. Nice meeting you. Ree. It's good to see you. It's good to see you here. That's thank a lot going on here, thank right? Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, uh, awesome. Can you introduce yourself? What uh, so I'm Re Merritt. I am the uh, Influencers Community and Events Lead for Azure Data, which means I own MVPs, RDs, super users, user groups, user group leaders, student ambassadors. Wow. <laughs> And then our engagement with the community um, at events, and now FabCon falls under my, wow. my purview. Yeah, amazing. A lot. How you can do that all? <laughs> <laughs> I have great people who work with me. Great people. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So specifically for this video, I want to talk about like uh, first, like what is MVP program? How people can become MVP? So right. let's first talk because you've been an MVP yourself. I was. Now you are leading a group of MVPs. <laughs> right. So. Right. Uh, so of all the things that I listed, I'll be honest, the MVP program is my baby. Mm. It's the one that I really, really love the most. It's the part of my job that I enjoy the most. So an MVP, uh, and there's about 3,500 globally right now, right. is a technical expert that uses that technical expertise to give back to the community right. um, in a way that is not paid, right? So they don't. Mm. this isn't doing their job. This is their hobby, their free time. It's mm. what they're passionate about. So they're blogging, they're speaking at presentation, or they're delivering presentations at conferences. Um, writing books, answering questions on forums. There's tons of ways that you can give back. And right. so that's what MVPs do. So <clears throat> to become an MVP, and you can learn more at mvp.microsoft.com. It tells you a lot about what you need to know. You can be nominated by an MVP, an RD, or a Microsoft employee. Correct. And so we will take a look at your community activity over the last 12 months. Mm. So what have you blogged and what have you blogged about? You know, where have you been presenting? Did you write a book? How many questions did you answer on forums that were marked as, as answers? Uh, do you run a user group? Do you organize a conference? All of those things kind of go into this one big bucket and we look at it holistically. Right. Now, because I run the data platform, that's the activity that I care about, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're talking about Microsoft Azure, mm -hmm. that's great. There's a program for that, right? right. There's an award caddy for Microsoft Azure. So I care about the data platform award category. Right. So that's everything that falls under a room ulog mm. from top to bottom. So um, you know, SQL Server, Azure SQL, Postgres, mm. uh, MySQL, Fabric, Power BI, real time intelligence. Right. You know, all data factory, all those things that fall under a room ulog. Mm. When people do work in that, and you do so much in Fabric and Power BI, mm. that counts towards the activity that I care about, that I evaluate for when it comes to the program. Right, so as I, as I uh, kind of understand it, this is like uh, having the expertise in that particular product area mm -hmm. and contributing about it. Absolutely. Like if I have the expertise but I don't contribute, it wouldn't help. Right. Or if I contribute, I don't have the expertise. Correct, right? so that last part's a really, really important point. Um, it's not just about what you do and how much of it you do. That activity needs to show technical depth. Correct. Right. So, because being an MVP is a two-way street, right? You that is MVPs right. get something for it. They get Azure credits for it. They get credibility for it. They mm. get engagement with the product group. They get a peek at the roadmap. They get all of those things. But we want something in return, and mm. in some cases, that is um, product feedback. I want to be able to put an MVP in a room with the product group and make sure that they understand the engine beneath it, that mm. they can talk at a level about how it works or how it doesn't work and how they can improve. Mm, right. So we have to make sure that they're not just doing you know, intro to right, yes. all the time, that they show me that they really, really get that it. deep dive. Knowledge. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, one of the questions that I get from a lot of people is that, like, do they need to have certification to become an MVP? I, you know what? You don't. I don't even look. Do they ask that on the form? I don't no, even think they ask. Are you? They ask if you're an MCT. <laughs> they do not ask how many certifications you have. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're certified. It's great. A lot of actually, a lot of activity MVPs do are teaching people to get how certified. to get certified, yeah. right? Which is really, really important to Microsoft. Mm. It helps us scale our business, right? The mm. more people who are certified, the more people are using it. Yes. So a lot of MVPs contribute that way, but you can actually even teach somebody to get a certification without holding it. 
Like nobody asks right. <laughs> if they do. Yeah, no, that, so no, that you is don't correct. have to hold certifications. In fact, we don't we don't take that we don't factor that in at all. Right, that is good. Uh, one last question. Okay. I'm taking a lot of your time. Uh, you've been an MVP yourself. I was, yeah. Like, uh, consider it from someone's point of view who hasn't started doing any contribution or anything like that. They just want to start. What is your advice to them? <laughs> right. So, well, I will say that if if your goal is to become an MVP, if you're like, oh, I'm only going to do this because I want to be an MVP, mm -hmm. you're in it for the wrong reasons. That's right. Maybe you'll do enough work in one year to earn the award, but if you're not really passionate about this, you're going to be a one and out. You're going to get one award, you're not going to get reawarded the next year. Yes. Because if you don't love doing this, you're not going to be able to sustain it. And I've seen it happen that a lot. Right. So yes. pick the part of the technology that you're passionate about. Pick the way you're passionate about delivering it, right? I'm not really a blogger. I, I have to be now. They make me blog now. But um, I wasn't before. Like, I did presentations. I did organizing. I ran a user group. That was how I contributed. That's what I was super, super passionate about. And so I just started there. Um, if you like to write and you like to blog, and maybe you... You have a blog and like not a lot of people are reading your blog mm. because of the way search search engine algorithms work. Start Correct. blogging on LinkedIn, mm. right? It's like hunting at the zoo that all of the people who are already interested in the same things that you are are already connected to you on LinkedIn. Mm. That's who's going to see it. That's who's going to share it. Right. It's a really easy way to scale Correct. some of your messaging. So mm. if you're or if you're looking to get started in blogging, mm. start there. Mm. If what you love is answering people's questions and helping them solve problems, then the forums are for you. Correct, right? yes. So we have the Fabric community platform, but the Reddit platform, Stack mm -hmm. Overflow, all of those other places where people are asking questions about the product mm -hmm. and you're answering them, if you're passionate about that, mm -hmm. continue to do that. that is then correct. connect with an MVP, an RD, or a Microsoft person. Mm -hmm. And please don't go, hey, can you nominate me for MVP? <laughs> yeah. Just say, hey, I'm interested in this. I'd like some mm -hmm. guidance. Can you look at what I've done? Keep a list. Have them look at what you've done and just say, when you think I'm ready, you know, let's yeah, talk about they, nominating they feel, me, right? They would nominate so, you. Right? I do say that um, being an MVP is something that you should aspire to. It is right. not something you should pursue. Correct. Yes. Yeah. That, is, that is the best advice. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you You're for welcome. your time. One last thing. How people can know more about this? About MVP program. Yeah. MVP.microsoft.com is where okay. you should always start for this. We'll add the link down in the bottom. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you for Thank your you time. Thank you so much. It was good to talk to you. Thank you. It was good to talk to you. Bye, everyone.